Hey guys, it's May May, and if you have been watching me for any length of time, I bet you will remember this cool little mailbox that I made, I think two Valentines ago by now. I think it's been that long, and this is actually the one I did in the video, and we use it here in the store for Valentine's display because I think it is so cute. And at the same time I made this, several of you guys said, can you make the mini version? So I made a mini version and it looked like this and it obviously opened so you can put little treats in there. And so I have that video as well. So both of these videos. Then this week I saw on the Facebook group that somebody said, I wish you could make a larger one. So I did, I made this guy, which is bigger. Let me turn it where you can see him. I actually used a sticker for the flag. I thought that little camera was cute. So here's the side of him. Here's the front of him holding him like this. I even put a piece of paper to cover the box. Here is the box. It slides out like this. And I even covered the back too of this one. Oh, let me move my hand. There we go. I covered the back of it. So this guy here is made with a 12 by 12 piece of paper. This is made with a six by six. And this one's made with a regular um, eight and a half by 11 piece of paper or card stock. And so I'm gonna show you how to make the big dude today and that way you'll have three different sizes to choose from all right let's get started so to start with we need to cut our paper down i am going to start with a 12 by 12 piece of paper and i'm gonna cut two inches off of one side because i need this piece to be 10 by 12 and don't worry about measurements i'll have a blog post and we will link that below in the description so you can get to it so that's the first piece i need 10 by 12 and it is cardstock so we'll move that aside and we're going to cut our next piece and i need to open my little arm out for this one and this piece i'm going to layer this time i did not layer it on my first one and i feel like it's a little flimsy it still gets the job done but it's a little flimsy and in my original one i layered this piece with two pieces of cardstock so that's what i'm going to do on this one and these are the two i've chosen so here's what we're going to do we're going to cut i'm going to cut this red piece of cardstock six inches by 12 and i did this so you could get two mailboxes from one piece of cardstock. So that's my base piece. And now I'm gonna take this striped piece, which I think is so cute. And I gotta decide how I want my stripes to go. Do I want them to go this way? Or do I want them to go this way? Oh, I think this way, this is really cute. Okay, so you wanna pay attention to your pattern. And I'm gonna cut this piece at five and three fourths by 12, I had to think. <laughs> had to think about it and then when we bring this over what we'll get is this we'll have the red on either side like that sticking out but i may come back i'm gonna look and see i may come back and trim the bottom so i have a little red piece here too i don't know i kind of like how that ends like that so we'll see as we go then for my flag stem i cut a piece that is one inch by 10 inches so i'm gonna cut this down to one inch this is just some scrap from my stash and the reason I'm doing this is because I'm gonna fold this in half at five inches. I felt like because of the size of this piece, it needed to be sturdier. So I'm gonna fold this in half and glue it to itself. So that's when we did a long piece. Now I'm also gonna need a piece that is five inches by six inches. This is the base of our mailbox. In order to get this mailbox bigger, I had to add a piece to the bottom. Let me pull this out and show you. So see how this piece is a different color, this pink? I added this and glued this on so that I could use all of my six by 12 paper and still get this base for my mailbox to sit in. So what I'm gonna do is use a red piece this time. So taking your white card stock, and this is the 12 inch side. I've put this into my scoreboard on the 12 inch side. We're gonna, so we're gonna score here at three inches and at nine inches. Okay, so this is the base of your mailbox. Now we're gonna turn it and make the sides. And for the sides, what we're gonna do, because I wanted my box to not be 100% stiff in here, I wanted it to slide in and out really easy, I'm giving myself a little ease, a little room, okay? And to do that, you're gonna score it at three and one eighth, and then we're gonna score it at six and seven eighths. Now on your scoreboard, this means it's one notch past three and one notch before seven. And that'll give us a little room so it'll slide in and out nice and easy and not get stuck. So that is your score measurements. Let me turn that around and see if you can see those better. There we go, just a big old rectangle and square edges. Now, once you got your big piece scored, we need to score this piece. This is the piece that is our base. We're gonna score it at four and a half inches 
And just because I struggle with scoring half an inch over here, I'm gonna turn this around and score it again at four and a half inches. So what I'm basically doing is scoring a half an inch on either side, and I've put it in at the five inch mark, and that way this will be what holds my mailbox sides on. So now we're gonna start to assemble. We're gonna start with these two pieces, but I wanna do something first, and it's gonna be hard for you to see. I wanna take this to my table and kind of do this on the edge of the table to get that curve in the top of the mailbox. I found that this matters a little bit because when I glue these two pieces together, it needs to have a curve in it. So I'm just gonna take it and just roll it on the edge of my table. So it'll kind of do that automatically. I'm gonna do a little more. Because what is gonna make this look like a mailbox is it not having a bend at the top, okay? So now I'm gonna do it with this piece as well. Until I get a good bend on it. And that's better. Now I think they will match up better like this and I'll get a better result. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna glue these guys together just super fast with some art glitter glue. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna glue one end and the other end, and I'm not gonna glue the middle. And you might think that's weird, but I think I will get a better bend if I don't have too much glue in here, because this piece is pretty big. So I'm just gonna lay this at the ends on either side. And because they're gonna be there to support each other anyway, I just think I'll get a better bend. If I put glue in there, what happens is I get kind of some pieces that kind of buckle and I don't want that. See, it's kind of doing that anyway, but if I were to glue that down, I might get a uh, like a wrinkle or a ridge. So I'm only gluing that to those edges because I'll get a better look. Um, you gotta kind of trust me on that one. If you, if you glue it all the way and you do it, you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so here we go. This is that piece we scored the half inch on either end. This is an easy, easy, easy project you guys. So put this little, I'm going to fold these little pieces over and crease them with my bone folder. I did a terrible job folding that. Too fast. I need to slow down. All right. And then crease this one. And then we're ready to glue. So this piece is going to get glued to these little edges, just like so. So take our art glitter glue. Now here's something else about art glitter glue. You don't want to use too much, but if you use a little more than you normally do, it'll give you a little bit of wiggle room when you're putting this on. So you're gonna glue one of the edges to your base and just line that up. And I'm even gonna sit that on the table and get it nice and flush. And then I'm gonna flip it around and do the other side just like it. We really only needed this base piece to give us more room so we can make a bigger mailbox. So that's what we're doing. So now I get a really good bend. Don't worry about this little piece right here. It is not a big deal. And when you put the box in, it'll kind of push that out and you'll be fine. But I do think that you would get a mess. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna do one and show you what I'm talking about. So this one, I glued the whole piece together and see how I'm not getting a good shape because of the curve and because of the size of the paper, it's just not working, right? And you can kind of see where the glue is and I got a little wrinkle in there. So that's why I didn't glue this all the way down, okay? So that's one of those things where it's just kind of like, hmm, what happens? But that's it. And I don't want this to look like this. I want it to look smooth like the other one did. So now you know why. Right. So now we're gonna build the mailbox portion and this is the piece we scored. So we're gonna come to the side. There's a score mark here and a score mark here and a cross line here. We're gonna cut each one of these score marks to the cross line, just to it, just like that. And then just like that. Then we're gonna come around and we're gonna cut right here the same way on the other side, just like that. And then just like this. Perfect. Now we can fold everything. So I'm just going to start folding and creasing. Now you're making a box, so you want it to be nice and creased. These side pieces especially, I find that the better I crease them, the better they do inside the little uh, mailbox topper. So line those up and crease. Then I'm going to clip this in like this crease everything down. And I'm trying to line it up here to make sure I stay, you know, nice and flush. Okay. 
So I'm gonna come back to this middle flap, and like I have before, I'm gonna take a little angled section out of there just to give me some a better folding room. If I don't do that, I get some resistance, and I think this will work better if I just take some little points out of here. So I'm just doing it from the middle flap, and I'm just taking an angle off the edge. I'll lay this one down and show you what I mean. And get this other side cut. Really doesn't matter the size because we're gonna hide this anyway. But I just wanna get some of that bulk out of there. All right, so you can see here what I was talking about. I just cut some of that at an angle away right here. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue all of this together on the sides, okay? And I noticed in mine, like when I did this, if I don't cut the score line just right, a little bit hangs off. So what I did was I just took my scissors and where it's hanging off the edge, I just did like this and ran it across the bottom and it just flattened it out perfectly and took that little sliver off. It's hard to be perfect in paper crafting because, you know, you might fold it this way one time and another way the next time. So that's what your scissors are for, just snip it away. And then I'm gonna glue these guys up and you want those sides to be, you know, 90 degrees. So do that like that. Then I'm gonna add some glue to this flap and stand it up. Just like so. And I'm pushing down to the bottom. I want it to line up to be flush at the bottom. And then we're gonna come back and we can put some pretty paper here. Also, because of the size I needed this, we have a little seam. And that's the reason I put the little paper on the end to hide that seam. But honestly, that seam wouldn't bother me too awful bad if I wanted to leave it especially because I'm using solid color paper, so it's not like I'm seeing a pattern get messed up. So if you don't want to cover it, you really don't have to. That one glued down. Then we'll glue this one up. Again, I'm using the table to help me get it nice and flush. And if I need to trim anything off, I can. I think I am going to trim this little tiny little bit. I'm not even enough to see it but I feel better because I trimmed it. All right, so you see how our box is nice and standing up straight. Then if I bring our little mailbox curve back over, this guy will just slide in like so, and we get the look of the little mailbox, but it needs a flag, so let's do that too. So this is my mailbox flag, and I cut it at 10 inches by one, and I did one inch just because I thought, or one inch, because I thought it needed to be pretty substantial on this size of box. And I'm just folding it in half, and then I'm gonna glue it, which is gonna make it even sturdier. So I'm just gonna glue all the way down, and I'm just kind of scratching this glue. I know it looks like it's a lot, but I'm just scratching it on there. Then we'll just <laughs> seal this shut if we can get our hands on it. There we go line that up. I like to use my work surface when I need something to be straight. Just press that down to your work surface. And then it's just time to make a flag. So I've cut myself two pieces. This little piece, let me measure it because I don't want to tell you wrong. This piece is two and a half by two. And this piece is a quarter of an inch smaller, making it two and a quarter by one and three fourths. This is gonna be my flag. This is gonna be my sentiment. And I dug into my stash and I pulled out this set called Happy, uh, It's in the Mail, super cute set. And I'm gonna use the words that say love letter and some satin red VersaFine ink. So love letter, I'm gonna ink that up. And I think I'm gonna put it down here in one corner, just like that. And then I'm gonna use this little heart from the same stamp set and I'm gonna kinda of just stamp it off to one side on that side of the love letter. And there's actually three different size hearts, so you could do more, but I think I'm just gonna do that because then I'm gonna do some stitch lines because you know Valentines have to have stitch lines. Oh, I can put this away now. Perfect. So let me get a pen out to do some stitch lines with. I'm even gonna pull out my red pen for this one. So I'm gonna stitch all the way around. You can have so much fun with these mailboxes because you can make them in any theme at any time. And they don't have to be just for um, Valentine's Day. You could use these for all kinds of things. They make a great masculine gift. If you want to give something to your mailman, how cute, or to your postal uh, worker, like if you have a mail lady like I do, how cute would it be to give them a gift inside of there? Um, a gift card, some bubble baths, some candy, who knows? All right, and then I'm going to glue all this together. Now, you could corner round all this or do anything you want. I'm just going to do it straight, squared up like it is. Glue this piece down to the red piece with a little border showing all the way around. Then I'm going to glue this to my flag at the end. So I run a little glue here. 
And then I'm just gonna line this up at the end. Just take that little flag down. That is so cute. And then I'm gonna add another touch because I think this is super cute. I'm gonna add a brad to the bottom. I have these little brads that look like buttons that someone sent me a long time ago and I am working my way through them pretty steady. <laughs> I'm gonna take my hole punch and at the bottom here, I'm just going to punch a hole and I'm gonna put this brad in, but I'm not gonna worry about the brad actually being um, closed correctly. I'm just gonna run this up this way because I'm gonna cover that with, with an adhesive, but I thought that was cute there to have something to kind of finish off the bottom and look, it fell out. Ha ha, let's put you back on there. And then I'm gonna put some sticky tape here so that'll hold our brad in place. You could open it the right way, but it'll hang off the edge and I just didn't wanna deal with it. So this is what I did and just stuck it underneath just like so. All right, peel off the backer of this and see how it's encapsulated? It's not going anywhere. And this guy is ready for our mailbox. And I just kind of stuck it to one close to the front, picked the side and stuck it on there. That is so cute. I love this big one. It is adorable. Now, you could also cut a piece to go here if you want. I'm not going to on this one. I don't think you really need it. I don't think you see that seen very much. And I like the white box inside of there. There's that one. The first one I did, which this was my prototype, so it's not as good as the second one, obviously. Again, I think stacking that paper makes it better, makes it more sturdy. It's not necessary, but I think it makes it more sturdy. You can see how I covered those little pieces there. So that gets you three sizes. We got big, and we've got medium, and we have small. And I will link all these videos. I'll do a little playlist and link all these videos. So if you wanna make any of these sizes, you have all the measurements and all the instructions. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. If you make these mailboxes, I want to see them. So head over to our Facebook group where you can share projects that I inspired you to make. And this would be awesome for me to see you make these guys. And you can also share your projects on our customer gallery on our website. If you go to our website and hover over the word more, the drop down will show you the customer gallery and you can put your projects in there as well. Hey, thanks so much for watching today. Hope you enjoyed this project and I'll talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye.